Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm in Australia and I have been trying to figure out what to do this morning. I did a few different bits and I'll do I'll show you videos on them later, but I've got to do I want to do this now. I want to make a spider. I told people. <laughs> it's really easy, so if you don't like spiders, don't look. It's not a nasty spider, it's a nice little spider. Well <laughs> anyway, so I haven't really ironed that, but I don't think that matters. It's a piece off a doily thing. And then I just got a piece of um, cotton um, batting stuff behind it because I think when you put it on there, it makes, you know, it'll look better with that. Be there. Okay, so you can take my word for that. Now, you can use a, um, what's the name, thread. Uh, this is a embroidery, machine embroidery thread, this one, which I very rarely use on the machine. Or I have this here. This is to make his. This will be to make his web with. Okay. Because I like the light colour behind him. Anyway, he's going to be a white sort of spider anyway. So you can make a spider whatever colour you like. <clears throat> Probably white ones are not good. Now I think I might just. I think if I'm going to use a strand of this one, if it's going to be enough. Mm. We're having a not too great day here today. The weather's really bad. I ah <laughs> oh dear. Some pe people are really sweating and hot, and we're we're just <laughs> in that kind of place where it's not like that at all. <laughs> okay, so I've got that. I tried to bring it down a bit close to camera so I could use I could, and if I stay on this little bit here, if I leave that bit there, and if I sew there, we should be able to see what I'm doing. Hopefully I have enough thread. I don't want to have too much because this tends to unravel a bit, this stuff. So I don't want to have too much thread. you got to be um, careful what your thread's like. Okay. See, I think it's already doing that. Something's got to start here. Hang on a second. Nearly got it. Nearly. No, I'm not going to. Maybe I'll make a... <laughs> Maybe I'll lick the end of it. Like I shouldn't be doing, but I will. Righto. Do that through there. Through there. Right, now, if you want to... Well, I've, I'm going to cut that back right after. So I'm going to make sure... Well, I'm going to make sure I got it on there anyway. I'm going to start sort of how the, how the spider would. He'd start in the corner, wouldn't he? Okay. And then I'm going to make him some, um, if I start, I'm going to start in the centre. This is where he's first, first posted, he builds. <laughs> now it's a bit longer than the rest of them, okay. Nice for the shape, it's the idea. You can draw it on the piece of fabric if you want to do that. There'll be some long bits under the back, but it doesn't matter, long bits of thread, it does not matter. Take it back in there a bit further. Go to the corner. With that right, it's nice. Right -o. Now you want that to be about the same. He's very clever, the spider. He always makes sure these things are the same, the same length, doesn't he? He just makes them really neat and perfect. There. I'm trying to show you probably the easiest sort of way. Now we can do a. I wanted. I might do two in here, so I might just leave them that length. Maybe come out a little tiny bit further. We need it to look like a bit of like a spider web, don't we? Well, they have all sorts of different spider webs, don't they? <laughs> Spiders are different. No matter where they wherever they live. Maybe I haven't taken that out far enough because of the centerpiece. It's out a fair way now. Oh no, it's not bad. It's not bad. Oh dear. Right. Hey. There. 
God. Maybe I did make the, that one too too long. Mm, it'll be fine. You can have that string in, out there so you can hang on. <laughs> I'm to need to end it off because I don't want it all coming unraveled. Because I've run out of thread, as you can see. I didn't want too much. Get some more on in a minute. Come here. I hope everybody's having a good time doing some crafting. And I want to say good day to little Bijou. Bijou. I can I know how to say your name now, that little puppy <laughs> that likes to watch me. I hope he's having a good day too, little Bijou. Mm. Okay, so there you go. His mum sent me a message and told me how to say his name. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Anyway, now, now I've got to... Where's that bit? Come off, here we go. We need this bit. So now we've got that much, okay? So we need this bit here. Because the spider will go on last, you see. He's going to have to have the web first. I'll do a spider away from it as well if you want me to, but I don't think I need to. I think it's, it's very easy to make, this one I'm doing. Very easy. And um, so... I think I found a bit hard. Sorry about all this licking and, and spitting around here. The only thing I found a little bit hard was his legs to go the right way, you know, but I've figured it out. I figured it out. Because they've got a lot of joints in their legs and that you've got to work out his toes and things. You've got to have toes and knees and <laughs> He has toes and knees and things. Okay, so now. I don't know whether to, I might do this first outside one first. Now I'm going to start over here and I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to get down in the back of there. Go take a stitch over that. Taking a stitch over that piece. Wait a minute without the knot. Something without the knot. Still getting that knot. Hang on. Stitch over that. Then you want to come up again. near it, as close as you can to it, not not up the same, in the same hole. There's another knot thing, look at that. Really? I don't know. And then you come across to this one, and you put a stitch over it. And then you want to come up at the, behind the other side of that thread there. See, see behind it? really close to it but behind it and then take that across to that one go down here make sure to keep this straight maybe I should have started at the end of that part I don't think it doesn't matter but might not have made it so hard so then you go the other side of the thread where we are we where are we where are we here we go uh, nobody panic, we're there somewhere, we're there somewhere. You go across to here. Alright. And then you come up the other side of there. Alright. And over to this one. I mean, we're right on the end there, but that doesn't matter. When you do yours, you can, you know, you just organise it which way you want it to be. Got the inside part here. I wonder, I don't know how the spider does it, but <laughs> this is how I do do his web. And you don't go through the thread because if you go through the thread, you're going to pull it all out of out of whack. So try not to go through that the thread that's going down there. Just go next to it, really close next to it, okay, and then over to here, right, and then up the side of the thread, okay, now I'm going to have to go down there again, because I want to move the thread up a bit further, so I'm going to come up here, I'll do another, this row and then another row, I think that should be enough. Take him over here. And then come up this side of it. 
uh, some here. Then get the other side there. I'm getting caught in that that wadding stuff that I got behind here. That's must have the occasional knot or hole or something in it, but it's not wanting to go through there. Gotcha. Now, that's pulling across that way a bit, as you can see. I've got to be careful not to do that. Come on, you can do this. Away. This thread's a bit annoying, <laughs> but that's okay. You can use whatever sort you like. You can use just a plain gold um, machine's cotton if you want to. It's up to you, whatever you feel like. I just thought the gold colour looks good. Hope that's up the right way. Go back down there again. Come up here further. Oh dear, this... On there you can sort of see there's little... I suppose there is little bumps. Look, see all the little bumps on this? Anyway, doesn't matter. It's getting there and that's the main thing. So we go over this first one. And come back up again over and take it across to the other side. Over the other, there. come up again here, go over here, try not to stray, I think I might be, <laughs> so I might be straying across there a bit, in mind. Oh, it's really weird. Something just fell on my foot. I think it was there's a bag under there. It's not got anything in it, and I think it just must have tipped. <laughs> it was a tiny sign, a bit of a creepy feeling. It didn't hurt. I mean, it's only it's only a soft little bag that I put under there. I was going to put something in it after, so and it's just tipped. I think it must have just tipped over and tipped onto my foot. Well, I hope that's what it was because I don't think there was a spider down there that big. I'm in trouble. Anyway. <laughs> Somebody have to come and help me. <laughs> ah dear. And down that one. You could have even put one up a bit higher, but I don't think I'm going to do that today because I I don't want to take too long. I've got to make me spider. I'm going to make that spider, don't we? So you could do do another one up a bit further there. Might look really good. This piece here makes it look like an umbrella now, doesn't it? So you can fix that though, can't you? Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. All I have to do is just lengthen this. Nobody's going to care. Are they? What? How I go about it? It's not, not important how I go about it, as long as I can do it. There's one bit. There's two bits. I don't think the spider makes mistakes. Three. Now don't you do yours wrong so you won't have to fix it, okay? Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go down near it. And I'm going to do the same down here. Come on. I'm just trying to use this bit of thread before I re-thread it for the next part. Um, you know, so I can do the other side, okay? So I'm going to put up... Oh, these little lumps. Well, don't you get this lumpy stuff, okay? And I'm not going to use this again either. I'll have to find something else put behind it. You can go get stuff that's not got all bumps all through it. And I'm not really sure I'm really keen on this until I... I need to have a little bit sitting out the bottom. A little bit of the web. See, like that.
I'll take it through the back there and get some more thread. Because it made a, a weird, wonderful, what's the name? I might, put the, I might put the spider on now. And then I'll put some more of that on. How, how long have I been? Not very long. It's only you've got time to do it. Do it and fix it nicely, that's the way. And then put it on your, put it in one of your journals or something. Or on that thing I'm working on the, you can put a spider on the thing that I'm doing me, um, sampler for, which you can sew. Sampler for your slow stitching. Is that the parcel man? Wouldn't that be good? I think it might be. Can't imagine who else it'd be if it wasn't a parcel man. I'm expecting a parcel. <gasps> Don't tell me it's my parcel. Oh good. Hang on a second. I'll be back in a minute. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna see my parcel's here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh wow, got a parcel. Look. Got a parcel. I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute because I'll be just gonna finish my spider first. I bought myself some, some stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I bought myself some stuff. Like I said, it, it, I mean, you know, <laughs> why not? I can't see a problem with myself. It's really weird, you know, because I looked on the line on the line this morning to see where it was, and it said it was in Kelso. So the man must have drove it all the way up here for me, so I wouldn't have to wait too long <laughs> for it. <laughs> supposed to be here today or next Monday so I'm glad it come today because I didn't want to have to wait and you know what though that's going to interrupt with what I'm doing now because I've got something in there that I want to play with <laughs> oh well never mind it's okay oh, and something I've been waiting for for a really long time so let's have a look in a minute and see what we got let's first do the do the spider first okay now I'm going to go back over here and sneak across here because I'm doing it all back to front you see so that's okay we're all good so I think that looks really cool love it I do love that it's nice but you don't even have to do that you can just ha put him hanging on this one bit of spider web you know one bit hanging from the ceiling or something <laughs> Sometimes the odd little one does fall down from the ceiling, I guess. It's got to have to get somewhere. He's got to take himself off to do something. There you go. Look at that. Do you reckon that looks pretty cool? I do. I like it. Yes, and see, I haven't actually done that level, and that's good, you know. I know the spider probably would not approve, but anyhow. So let's do the spider. Okay. We need a bead needle. And we're going to have some black thread. Actually, I might put it on with, um, we have black thread or white, let me see. What do you, where's the, where's the needle? I just have threw it down there. there, here we go. Right, I think we might do a bit of white thread on this. I did have a couple of other things I wanted to do today, but I'm waiting for some of it to dry too, because I I found that I had to I put some glossy accents on a few bits, and it takes a while. Actually, that's dry. Well, that's cool. I better throw some more on another one then, hadn't I? Before I go out of here, before I go out of my room. I wonder what I did with it. See somewhere what I was going to do? Eh? <laughs> in mind. I'll find it in a minute. I hope. I thought I'll pick them things up and move them over for the next video. But I might have to do that tomorrow though because I've got a few family issues that I want to look into in a minute. Um, right. Okay, so I've got this. I've got, I've got the thread. I've got the thread and I'm going to put him here, here. Here, I'll put him here. He's good. <laughs> that was a, a decision that I made. You know, it was great. I don't know. <laughs> now I've got some beads, so I've got a really 
um, really pretty apricot one here. I mean, you know, I could have put a white one on, but I think I like this colour. And I tried it to see, oh, wrong needle. Right, you can't get that through the beads. We need a bead needle. Right, we need a bead needle. Okay. So when you try and do that and that happens, you don't go, oh dear, that won't work. You're going to put a bead needle on this size 10 to 13. I buy a pack with size 10 to 13 bead needles in it and I have got a few and I buy them a fair bit because they they bend from the heat of your hands if you use them for too long. I'm just going to cut that bit of... I'm going to get that bit off. Maybe I should do it with a file or something. And where there's a file at the moment, I'm not... Come back here. Where'd you go? <laughs> Little bead. <laughs> oh, dear. Here it is. Let's see for looking. Yeah, I'll throw that through there. Sometime today be good, Sonia. Well, I do know where I got it from, and I do know where there's more, so I'm not going to panic about it too much. So there's, there's one bead. There's his body. His head's here on the ground. Whoops. I don't know if he's actually connected like this, because I never really... Maybe they got one, just one full body, but I'm making him like this, all right? So I'm going to thread both of them on there now. And then I'm going to go... <coughs> push him up there like that. So you got him nice and secure. You know, you don't want him to be waving around a bit. You want him nice and secure. And you hang on to him. And go into the fabric just in front of that bead. There you go. And then you want to come up where the two beads meet. Okay. We would have a neck if he did have a neck. I don't know if he's got a neck or not. And then you pull it down like that, Okay. So there's his, there's his body. I might just put one one more strand of thread through both of them just to hang on to him a bit better. Actually, there's two strands here now together, so that's okay. Should fit through, no worries. And the out. And that in there. Right. There we go. That's his. That's his body. Yeah, pretty easy, isn't it? Now he's got eight legs, does he? Or six? <laughs> I might mind with eight. Does a spider have eight legs or six legs, people? Nobody knows? Right, I don't know either. I've got mine maybe with eight legs. For some reason, I'm thinking they only got six. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, I should have researched this, shouldn't I? The one I made before, I put eight legs on him. So I've got a black piece of thread. I did have some really nice black and gold thread somewhere. It seems to have um, escaped me. This is a piece of embroidery cotton that I've just pulling off one strand to make his legs. There's many other ways you can make a spider, but and I probably will show you a couple more la later on. I don't know. We'll see what happens. One day I could probably do that. So now I need to, dev well, I've got to work out. So there'll be a piece coming from him up here somewhere for a leg, wouldn't it? Round about his neck. Round about his neck. He's got a bit coming out there. That's his leg. Right. And I don't know whether I'll give him a knee there in that one or not. He probably doesn't need a knee. Just a little knee. There's a knee. There. That bit probably just went through. And this would be his toe. His bit. Right, he's only a small toe. There's your toe. Now while I'm that, I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Try and keep them even. So we can come out here with his leg leg part of him <laughs> and this part here when you come back to the
there. That's his. That's his knee. That bit <laughs> was bent. <laughs> and this piece here can be his little toe or his foot. Okay. Yeah. Now this one, I'm just going to take straight out there. A bit longer. Because I'm not going to have a bended knee on this one. And then his, his foot can go back that way. Okay. And then another one coming out of the same, pretty much the same place. And we want that one to be about the same. I don't know, am I giving him too many legs? I don't know. I think a spider's got eight legs. For some reason I'm sure he's got eight legs. And another one. Just put it a little bit down further, not too much. And over there. Just don't sew through. Don't try not to sew through your um your web. Okay. Right. So I want them ones facing backwards. The front ones can go, whoops. The front ones are forward and these ones are backwards. I don't know why. I don't know how he crawls along. Maybe I should have researched that. <laughs> so now we go back up here. And go out the side a bit. And down into there. Back up in there. Now, he probably has some little things at the front of him that looks like eyes or something scary. People are scared. I don't like spiders. I'm, I'm not a big... I'm not petrified of them. I have a friend who is, and I know, I know Wendy Mason is frightened of them, and I hope she's not watching because it doesn't impress her at all, and I can understand. Some people just don't, don't like them. My mother... Had me up one night moving the wardrobe because the spider went down behind the back of the wardrobe when I was a teenager because she wasn't going to go back to the bed until it was gone. So that's what I had to do, and I, <laughs> I guess it was okay. Now he seems like he's got too long legs for himself. I don't know, but he's a busy bloke, isn't he? He's, long, he's a long fella. Now I'm going to put two little two little things up here near his. Is that where he bites you or something? Bits there. I'm too tiny to be near his face. I don't know what these bits are for, but there's, there's two of them tiny things near his face. Now, you could probably make one with um, with beads for its legs, but it'd be a lot bigger. Does he look okay? He looks like a spider to me. If I've seen him somewhere, I'd think he was one. Then he would have a thing on his tail too, doesn't he? But I think that might be enough of that. And I know that's not going together properly because we've got a little bit of bead there that pushed out when we... Bit of stuff sitting up there. I've got to get that off there, don't I? I will do that. But anyway, so that's the spider for you. But it's easy. To, I can do another one just out of fabric without using the bead. Uh, out of my, cotton. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so we'll just cut that. Scissors. Now. I'm going to let's have a look at the parcel. What do you reckon? Will I do another video? No, I'm going to do it on this one because there should be enough time. Okay. Put the spider. This is my original spider. Oh, well, one of the ones that I did one time. <laughs> Stuff on there. And he's pretty much the same. Look at that. He's got better legs, though, because he's got made out. Of, he's got a nice bit of thread that I've done him out of. Then this one's really dark, his little legs. Doesn't matter, it's all good, works all right. So I'll push this stuff over a bit because I want to put my parcel on there. So can I just lift that up a bit? I have to, I just have to undo it, won't I? I've got this from Craft Online. Now that's a really good craft place here in Australia where we do like to buy our, our craft stuff. They have some really good things. The paper is what I, um, only place I could find the paper actually without having to. I don't want to go overseas to buy it, that's a bit much. But anyway, so it's here and it's an open in the box. Good pizza boxes they send them in. Okay. 
Ooh, we have lots of paper, just ordinary paper. Paper. And we have this. Oh boy, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> ah, I'll get down. Right. I only bought it the other day, too. It's all here with me. Now, I got stop fraying stuff. I got some stuff to stop the fraying. So I could put it on and then we can stop the fraying of the fabric while we're stitching around appliques if I want to do that like that, which in some cases I do. Sometimes I want to do that. I'm just hoping, because they, they haven't had this in stock for a while, and this the other bottle was four dollars, and I didn't have any of that, so this is, this is nine, and it should have lasted me a fair, the most of my life, I'd say this was going to last forever, this stuff, there's enough in here. I just want to get a look at it and see what it, how to do it, what you, how you use it, and I'm hoping it's what I think it is, I can do it. <laughs> oh, come on, done. They got it there, so I thought it wouldn't break or squash or anything. There's the bubbles. That's not good in box stuff filled in the garbage bin. <laughs> right now, yeah, good. Uh, permanent fabric adhesive. Repairs frayed fabric and trim edges. Right, so you put that on, dries clear, it's machine washable, and you just apply this thin coat onto the frayed edges. While glue is wet, remove excess glue with a damp cloth. Let it dry for 24 hours. Wait seven days before you wash it. Fair enough. I won't be washing it, but that's what I wanted. I really wanted that so bad for so long. I kept on going on there and it said to let us, for me, they could let me know when it came in, but I didn't want to wait for that. <laughs> now I hope these are what I wanted. I got this because I want to do a journal on... <sighs> oh, oh, my goodness me. <laughs> for a, a journal for... Oh, wow. Woodland things. Oh, look at them all. Look at the little, little woodland things. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Oh, I do love this. Foxes. Little foxes and squirrels. More squirrels. More squirrels. <laughs> Ah, uh, Bambi's. We call them Bambi's. I know if that's a, if that's because Bambi's name was Bambi. Oh, look at this. Oh, and they, isn't this nice? Wait a minute, there's more on that side too. You can cut them out and use them as well. I'm going to use this for making. Oh dear, I don't know. Lots of things. I hope I can get lots of things. And then and this this side's really good too, isn't it? But then I got a bit more because I thought they might not be. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I can choose, I can pick and choose. I don't use a lot of journals, a lot of um, paper in, scrapbooking paper in my journals, but I'm, <laughs> I think I might be. I think this one's a different sort of uh, thing. But, you know, I'll be able to mix and match them, I think. If I can't, I'll just make two different sorts, won't I? I think this is paper and it's going to come past, not a book. It's not a book, it's pages. Oh, wow. Serenity, 12 different designs times two. Very good. Look at that. Well, for a start, my printer's not working with my um, computer for, for the time being because it's having a hissy fit. So I've got a bit impatient. Nice. That's pretty. Nice. Wow, nice colour. Green. Oh, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing here. What's that? Good. What are you doing, Sonia? There you go. You can still see everything behind me. Oh, did you see what I had? Pretty, pretty paper. Beautiful paper. Uh, and I only bought um, six by six because, you know, the I'm only doing journals. I don't want need to have big pages. But the next one's going to be big pages. You'll see that one for sure any minute now. Look at that. Wow, love this one. Look at the colours. Love the colours on that one. Brilliant, lovely, all goody. <laughs> and then there's two of those. Um, 
that was called Serenity, wasn't it, or something? Where did, where did the top one go? Must have been in the pile when I moved. I moved it all, didn't I? I made a... Here we go. Serenity. Let's see. There are all the pages. It's in there. Which I don't... They're good. I don't know if I look, look at them. Now, this is what I... <laughs> this is the main... This is my main friend here. <laughs> This is my main bit. Look at this. Oh, have you seen anything like this? This stamp period paper is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I'll still do lots of embellishments because I'll, I'll incorporate these things into that. I hope I can do that. So these are double-sided, and that it just worries me a bit because I don't know which side to use. Because there's only one of each, isn't there? I think there's only one sheet of each. Oh, I'm sure I'll manage make sure that I can do it. <laughs> it's the back ones sometimes are not as good as the front. You can pick the best one yourself anyway. So this is the front cover and it's got a small um, version of each one, hasn't it? I think. Love that fox. Look at him, isn't he? Beautiful. Oh, I do love that fox. Wow. Oh dear, it smells nice. Oh, it smells like ink. <laughs> it smells like the forest ink. <laughs> Isn't this neat? Isn't this beautiful? I'm going to make myself a journal now. I will, I will, by gee. Well, see, of course, I know I will use some of these, but I, I'll, I'll incorporate other stuff. Because, oh, isn't this nice? Oh, look at the fox. <laughs> look at the fox. Oh, I might be able to make more than one. Oh, dear, look at these beautiful pages. Aren't these beautiful? Oh dear. Oh my goodness me, look at this. Oh wow. Ah, do you think I can make a good journal out of this, people? <laughs> oh, look at that. They're already ready for you. But see, I can add bits of tree, bits of maybe a bit of bling on him, put a bit of something, something, you know, there's, there's lots of things you can put on and make it yours, it will be mine, it will be, <laughs> oh wow, isn't it nice, oh look at these, look at that, oh wow, look at these beautiful, and see I went and I tried to find a picture of um, a deer, and I couldn't get anything nice, Every, it, it, all the books that I bought, there wasn't one book, like I bought a, like books with animals in, there wasn't anything nice uh, pictures of them. I couldn't find any anyway. So I found this and I thought, well, I'm going to have that. Look at that. Wow, well, that's nice, isn't it? I love the fish too. Well, see, they're out there in the in the forest as well, aren't they? Oh, my goodness me, look at this. <gasps> isn't it lovely? Oh, dear. I don't know whether you want to see me make this or not. <laughs> I just do it myself. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I can fussy cut them. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> oh, I'm really loving this. Wow, wow, wow. I do love that. Now, I don't know what much it cost me. I don't think it was too dear. It must have been 20-something dollars, maybe. 20-something dollars. The other small ones, what have I done with them? I've, I've put them somewhere already. and can't even see where they are. That's not good, is it? They're here. Look at me. These, these weren't too expensive. I think these were only about 10 Ten or fifteen dollars each, maybe. Look at that. So this is going to be awesome. I can I can see what I'm going to do with these. I've got it's all in my head now already. I might have to make more than one. I might have to. To oh look at that. Oh isn't that going to look good on something? Yeah. Isn't it nice books? Oh, I do love these books. I do love animals, and they are really nice pictures, aren't they? Beautiful pictures. It's Imperial. Love the fox. <laughs> anyway, I better go um, and um, just drool over this for a while. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I hope you go and make a spider. Okay, I hope you all have a good day and stay safe. Please be me. A, please give me a thumbs up and a like and all that sort of thing. It's been really good helping me to get up to the top of the. Well, I'm not up the top, and I'm not going to be up the top, but it helps you. So when people come looking for stuff that I make or or, or those sort of things, they'll find my um uh, f my my channel. So if you want to share with anybody, you know the things that I that I do, 
I've also got these here that might look good in amongst these pictures too. This is, but they do break, but that doesn't matter. They're nice stamps and things. I've got a lot of bits that I've collected up. I've been trying to find things to make this out of for a while now. And I think it might have been Lynn or Terry or someone asked me when where was where was my journal? Why haven't you seen it? It's here. <laughs> it's coming along, don't you worry. I've got other ones that I still haven't done that I'm working on, but it'll happen. It will happen. So you, you, you people, um, you know, I have to make, I have to, I have to, I want to make videos to show you what to do. So therefore, I, I need to go to different things all the time, or I want to go to different things to show you what I'm doing. And therefore, I can't really get a chance to finish what I'm doing. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind. I'm going to... Excuse me, I do I do like having a bit of work about. <laughs> Something I can think of now. I'll just go and pick that up and do a bit of that now. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe, everybody, and have a good day. Bye-bye.